Good evening, everyone. What is up? Ate one satisfying meal, topped it off the music desserts. Mr. Hot is speaking. Previously, there were several videos on our least favorite TV shows featuring different guests in multiple videos. Today's going to be the fourth segment to our least favorite TV shows featuring Zach Attack Studios. Introduce yourself, yeah. sir. Okay. Hold on a second, Mr. Hunter. Guess you follow me on Twitter. Bow Candy. Hey, Bow Candy. Bow Candy follows me on Twitter. <laughs> okay. What are we doing now, sir? This is going to be a fourth segment on our, on our least favorite TV shows. These are TV shows oh, that we dislike great. enough that we want to not see them again or we want to yell at them. Now, we've covered oh, already several sets of TV shows, but let's start off with the TV shows we haven't covered yet. So, we'll get to deeper TV way, shows. I'm sorry, I'm sorry that, that, that that was off topic, by the way. Yes, don't worry about that. Alright. Let's begin. All right. What's one TV show we even brought up yesterday that we dislike but we don't hate? Let's see here. Uh, uh, trying to think. Same. Uh, Clifford the Big Red Dog. Ugh. Uh. How is a dog that big? Seriously? Okay, okay, I will admit, I used to like that show when I was Sadly, little, but, but seriously. An oh oversized pet that just causes trouble all day, that's all it is. And that show is still airing on PBS Kids. Like, How? Oh, well, it stopped airing a few years ago, but it's not supposed to be airing anymore if it's already ended. Seriously, they keep airing reruns. And here's another TV show that we don't like. Clifford the spinoff to Clifford the Big Red Dog. Clifford's Puppy Days. Oh, that was even worse. How is Clifford a tiny little puppy when he, jo he grows up into a giant monster? That makes no sense how it could be he could start off that small. Alright, he's the size of a computer. No, he's... He's, a, he's about a foot long, maybe six inches tall. How does he become, how does he turn into the size of a two-story house? That, that makes no sense. Oh, my God. He's a squeaker. That's all he is. That was not necessary to make a spin-off. If they want to make show. a spin-off, Show Clifford when he's older. Don't show Clifford when he's younger. We don't care about Clifford when he's younger. Gosh. Completely unnecessary for them to make a spinoff of his puppy days. Make a spinoff of when Emily Elizabeth's in high school and he's a full-grown adult Clifford. That would be more appropriate. Not the other way around. Oh. Uh. Oh, I have another show. Okay. Wild, wild Kratz. Ugh, or the spinoff of Zaboomafu. Seriously? They're in, ugh, there did not need to be a spinoff of that. Seriously. It's a flashy cartoon of the two brothers going on an animal adventures. That's it. Did, what happened to the lemur? Did the lemur die? Did he fall into a pit? What happened to him? Seriously. Ugh. So Boomer Food did well, but Wild Kratz did not do that well. Did not do well compared to Boomer Food. It was made in desperation. They're starting to make spinoffs on PBS Kids, but they're desperate. That's why they started to make several spinoffs. Seriously, but that basically ruined, that, that spin-off basically ruined the reputation of Zabumafu, the original. It has nothing to do with Zabumafu, so it's two brothers, that's it. 
It's similar to the, to the idea of the penguins of Madagascar, isn't it? Almost. Because the main characters in the penguins of Madagascar, for example, are the zoo animals, not the penguins. But they're focusing on this one rather minor set of characters as they are in the Wildcrats and are leaving out the main characters. They copied off Seriously? they copied off the penguins of Madagascar spin-off idea then. Like, seriously, what happened to the lemur? Did he die of old age? Seriously, the lemur is basically like the main character of the show. Oh my gosh. Like, it, okay, it would have been a little bit better if they would have included the lemur. Maybe oh. it would have been a little bit better. Oh, another TV show. Zula Patrol. Oh. Do you remember that TV show? Because almost nobody knows that TV show. Why are they calling themselves a patrol? They're not a patrol. They're a group of insects or aliens, whatever they're called. That fly spaceships and do simple science. That's it. That's not a patrol. That's a group of buddies hanging out together, being silly. Where did they get the oh. idea that they can abuse words? Well, Zool Patrol, that show is, is not well known compared to the other TV shows we've brought up recently. It did air on... It might have aired on PBS Kids, but... It's not, not, not many will not, will be familiar with the, this TV show if we were to bring it up. Oh, and another TV show that was overrated, Fetcheth Rough Ruffman. Oh my TV god. Show. Oh. And these, the, and these children who are competing, they're not, they're not exceptional at all. They're average school children. That's all they are who are competing. That's it. It was a it was a simple game show. That's all it was. Oh, Cyber Chase. Ooh. Oh. The math. The math was was too simplistic. They weren't covering advanced enough math at all. Why are they covering math from kindergarten? Cover middle school math. Cover pre-algebra. And, and Hacker went losing on every battle. Can he win already, Hacker? Heck, the enemies, Hacker especially, Buzz and Elite, are more likable than the three humans that entered their world without the permission of these aliens or robots, whatever these characters are. And Digit, Digit's a robot, that's all it is. Oh my god, I hate that show. Alright, the character names are catchy. Buzz, Delete, Digit, Hacker, the Hacker to you. The kids are a bunch of normal kids. The motherboard. These, char these characters are strange and questionable. And what on earth is this? A universe? A galaxy that they live in? And speaking of which, yeah, there's another TV show we need to bring up. Can't think of it offhand, but uh, let's see here. And we we may not be able to, but don't worry, coming up with one in a bit. Between the Lions. <laughs> Ew. We should have saved that for later, but Lions reading baby books. That's all the TV show is centered around. A bunch of young lion of baby lions reading several simple words out of a textbook. I got one. All right. Sid the Science Kid. Ooh. <laughs> What on 
earth is this mess of Play-Doh doing on TV? Oh my god. Sis Shit, is science that's science. Kid. That is not a science kid. He doesn't know science. He's a four-year-old boy that goes to preschool, and yet they call him, he thinks he's a scientist. To be a scientist, you would have to go through many years of college to be a scientist. Oh, oh my. Every moment of that TV show makes one want to scream, one want to kick their window broken, if that's real. One want to throw their window out of the door. Okay, we'll explain this TV show, shall we? Breakfast time? Why do we care about breakfast time? He doesn't even eat breakfast at all. And the parents are immature, Allison Mort. They behave similar to 10-year-olds. And Zeke, that baby's all he is is a ball of Play-Doh. That's it. What else are in that? In that in, oh, the songs. I love my mom. Seen on a playground. <laughs> Teacher Susie is a prostitute, I swear. How is she allowed to teach preschool when she just has no discipline at all? Gerald makes a bunch of disruptions. Oh. What else? Their school only lasts for 20 minutes, and there's only four of them. That is not a school. That's a playgroup. Preschool lasts for three hours at least, not 20 minutes or 30 minutes. And then Sid's grandma just tells a bunch of lies. Ah, that TV show. Can't stand it. Oh, my God. Oh, let's see. What else do we got? Oh, my God. Dragon Tail. Oh. I don't care if it was one's childhood. These are a bunch of boobas. That's all these characters are. They're a bunch of boobas with wings. That's all these characters are. They're, they're as big as boobas, and they behave similar to boobas. That's all these characters are. It wasn't really necessary to air it. Keep airing reruns of it five, in ten. five years after it ended. No, this TV show didn't deserve that. Yeah. Quetzal teaches nothing. That this so-called school in the sky is a playgroup. That's it. And these characters are bland, Max and Emmy. We barely know much about them at all watching a TV show. Who are they? What are they? This TV show leaves us too many questions that we cannot answer ourselves. Their parents, what did their parents do while they cooked dinner? And where did, do they live in Texas? They probably live in a border town of Texas, probably, since they are Mexican. They do not teach much Spanish at all, despite Quetzal, Max, and Emmy being Hispanic. Ugh. And Dragonland is not defined well. How big is Dragonland? How, what's the population of Dragonland? Where does everyone live in Dragonland? A bunch of questions unanswered. All it is is a make-believe fantasy that has not been developed at all, and it's one-dimensional. Mr. Katalik, your words on this TV show? Oh, man, I don't care. I don't care if it was my childhood. Same, same. It's garbage. It's garbage now. Or it's a big crybaby. Oh, Cassie's a big crybaby. Wheezy's a big baby. Not a single character is worth watching, except for Cyrus, that egg stealer. That's the only character that was worth looking at in the whole TV show. And he only has two appearances. That's it. One care, one minor character. Did, six, did well in this whole TV show, and all the major characters are a bunch of, ob, of, of walking and talking objects. That's it. They're flying objects. And our theme song, Saying That the Avengers Will Never End, that TV show ended in 2005. It might have ended in 2004, maybe. Okay. 
Next. I know this is off topic, but guess what show recently ended? What? Curious George. It needed to, though. It, 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 ended yeah. up needing, it needed to eventually end. That TV what? show was a childhood, but it got a little boring in the end. No offense. Yeah, but still, it was pretty much like the last good show. It started off well, but after that, it got. It didn't need to. It didn't, it didn't need to stick around PBS Kids, but it, it's about time it ended. It, it is 2016. The end of 2016. This TV show came out in the fall of 2006. At least it lasted for one decade, at least. Yeah. Well, that's all there is to say for these TV shows. See one on the next segment. Maybe it'll be a fifth segment to this series. Last words, Mr. Katolik? Uh, nope. Same. What that's all there is to say for this TV show? See you in the next video. Peace out. Mr. Hata, Mr. Nzagatech Studio signing out. Good night.